The objective today is to learn some rules of divisibility so you can solve problems easily. How do we know if a number is divisible by another number without doing too much calculation or without using a calculator? So, let's respond to this question. Is 208 divisible by 2? How do we know if a number is divisible by 2? Well, 208 is divisible by 2 because it's an even number. But what about 831 divisible by 3? How do we know without using a calculator or without doing calculations if a number is divisible by 3? Well, today we are going to learn some rules of divisibility that will test a number if it's divisible by another without having to do much calculation or without using a calculator. So let's start with an easy one. How do we know if a number is divisible by 2? Well, I already told you that a number is divisible by 2 if the number ends with an even number. Those are 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, and 8, or if it ends with 0. This is an easy rule. So let's do some examples. Is 43 divisible by 2? How do we know if 43 is divisible by 2? Well, if you check the ending of this number, that is a 3, 3 is not an even number. So 43 is not divisible by 2. So 43 is not divisible by 2. What about 14,118? Is this number divisible by 2? Even though we have a big, big number, we can simply check the ending that in this case is 8, and because 8 is an even number, then we can say that this number is divisible by 2. Remember that divisible by 2 means that you can divide the number without having a remainder. What will be the rule of divisibility of 3? Well, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits of your number, that's important, is a multiple of 3. So here I'm giving you a quick example. We are checking if 45 is divisible by 3. So we add the digits. 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 is a multiple of 3, so then we can assure that 45 is divisible by 3. So let's try some other examples. Is 78 divisible by 3? Well, let's apply the rule. Let's do 7 plus 8 to see what number we get. 7 plus 8, that will be 15. 15 is a multiple of 3, so this one works. So we can say without doing any calculation, that 78 is divisible by 3. What about 341? Is 341 divisible by 3? Well, I'm going to apply the rule. I'm going to add the digits. 3 plus 4 plus 1, that will be 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 8 is not a multiple of 3, so even without using a calculator or doing some calculations, I can say that this number will not be divisible by 3. The rule of 5. How do we know if a number is divisible by 5? This rule is also very easy because you only check the ending of the number. If the number ends with 0 or 5, then the number will be divisible by 5. So let's try these examples. Is 131 divisible by 5? Check the ending. 1. 1 is not 0 or 5, so this number will not be divisible by 5. What about 1,065? Even though we have a big number, just by checking the ending, that is 5, we can say that this number is divisible by 5. Okay, how do we know if a number is divisible by 6? This one is a tricky one. So let's read, a number is divisible by 6 if the number is divisible by 2 and 3. If a number is divisible by 2 and 3, then for sure is divisible by 6 too. So I'm giving you here a quick example. 
is 12 divisible by 6. So 12 is even, is divisible by 2, it's an even number. So we check divisibility by 2. Then how do we check divisibility by 3? You add the digits. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 is a multiple of 3, so we can check that one too. 12 is divisible by 2, 12 is divisible by 3, so yes, this number will be divisible by 6 too. Let's try more examples. Is 84 divisible by 6? We need to check two rules. So to check the rule of 2, we need to see if the number is even. 84 is an even number. If you see the ending, is 4, 4 is an even number, so I check with divisibility for 2. What about divisibility for 3? I'm going to check if the number is divisible by 3. The rule will be 8 plus 4, you add the digits, 8 plus 4, that's 12. 12 is a multiple of 3, I check divisibility of 3, so I can say that yes, this number is going to be divisible by 6 too. What about 146? So I'm going to check first, divisibility by 2. 146 is an even number, look at the ending, 6 is an even number, so I check divisibility by 2. Now I need to check divisibility by 3, so I need to do the rule, 1 plus 4 plus 6, that will be 11. 11 is not a multiple of 3. So 146 is not divisible by 6 because these two rules have to apply. So then I can say that it's also divisible by 6. The rule of 9 is very similar to the rule of 3. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is a multiple but now of 9. So just to give you a quick example. 117, I want to check if it's divisible by 9, I am adding the digits, 1 plus 1 plus 7, that will be 9, 9 is a multiple of 9, so I can say that this number is divisible by 9. Let's try these other examples here. Is 76 divisible by 9? So let's apply the rule, 7 plus 6, 7 plus 6, that will be 13, 13 is not a multiple of 9, so 76 will not be divisible by 9. What about 306? Well, even though it's a big number, by just applying the rule, adding the digits, 3 plus 0 plus 6, that will be 9. 9 is a multiple of 9, so that number will be divisible by 9. Rule of 10. Rule of 10 is also an easy one. A number is divisible by 10 if the number ends with 0. That's simple. So let's check some numbers. Is 67 divisible by 10? Well, this, this number, the last number, 7, is not 0, so 67 will not be divisible by 10. What about 34,980? Even though it's a big number, just by checking the ending that is a zero, that number will be divisible by 10 for sure. So, do you think you're ready to do some problems on your own? This is your exit ticket. Is 5,664 divisible by 2, by 3, by 5, by 6, by 9, or by 10? I want you to check each rule, tell me yes or no, and then give me a simple explanation. You can pause this video now, you can do this problem on your own, take out your notebook or a piece of paper, and at the end of this video, I will give you the solution. Thank you for watching, bye bye. Don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe, and if you want to follow me on my social media, Instagram, at Numeritos TV, or Twitter at Numeritos TV to suggest me any other topic or any other objective.